Okay, here we are. Last we left our intrepid heroes, you had saved the town of Glen Hollow from the invading forces of the Kobolds. A great battle ensued, and in the aftermath, you were able to collect what possessions and items you needed for your trip into the mountain and headed on your way. The village is very grateful to you, and they vow that they will do what they can to... Um, celebrate you as you know the conquering hero should you ever return you know they'll you know pledge their allegiance to you and all that stuff praise marok all right so you headed out uh in the morning towards the towards the mountain uh the air is crisp and clear and it uh, seems to possess a vitality all its own a few stray clouds skid quickly across the sky as if ashamed of cluttering the otherwise unmarred blue expanse. Ahead, the mountain looms high above the backdrop of distant crags. Oddly, around the peak of the mountain, the weather is significantly different than that in the immediate vicinity. Uh, menacing uh, dark clouds swirl constantly about the summit, uh, streaks of lightning occasionally illuminating the uppermost reaches. Um, such is the stillness of the day that the scream of the wind can be heard uh, even from here, several miles away. So, as the day goes on and you start approaching, the howling wind sound just keeps getting more and more menacing. It's getting louder as you get closer. Um, once you're within one mile of the mountain, uh, the volume of the wind suddenly dies abruptly. Um, so it's, it's almost like you're inside the eye of something. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. So so the ancient path to the peak, uh, must have once been used by great transport wagons, uh, as evidenced by the ruts worn into the stone. Now, however, sections have fallen apart under centuries of weather and neglect. The 20-foot wide path uh, narrows in places to less than two feet across, and the rest having crumbled away many years ago. Still, it appears sturdy enough to bear the weight of a man or horse. So, continuing on. I, are, are, at this point, are we tracking the goblin that... Uh, the kobolds. The kobold that we, like, marked yes. yesterday? Okay. I see no reason not to go. Okie doke. Um, at this I point mean, in time, actually, I'm going to start thinking... eating balance checks from everybody. To maintain your standing. Oh, this is an un this is unstable... multiple people I guess good luck I can shoot an arrow 750 yards but I can't keep even footing way to go Legolas how does an it's archer not snow not, you know how does an archer not have like acrobatics going on I do have acrobatics I just got a four don't have enough acrobatics apparently what was yours, Steve? 18. Yeah, okay. Well, luckily... Um, oh, no, it is a negative 2 check, so... Okay, that's less than 15. But negative 2 to 18 isn't isn't that bad. That's still 16, so you made it. Um, 
Yeah, so Jeremy begins to fall. What are you guys doing? Three, two, grabbing him. One. Hey, hey there magic you go. Guy. Thanks, uh, Steve. Thanks for jumping in. And uh, please make a uh, please make a check. I guess that would be if I can read. Thirteen. Okay, Steve begins to fall. God right, damn so, it. Uh, I think I might have like a spell. Hold on. Well, you're I you're, you're falling by for three seconds already at this point in time. So who's next? Right. Three. I cast feather fall on both of them. Okay. As an immediate action. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> the real question is why he didn't cast fly on us to begin with. Because it's not an immediate action; it's a standard action. No, I meant while we were we we're like, man, we're probably gonna fall down this mountain. Stop sucking. Or you know, start you know thinking ahead, like tying rope to each other, and you know maybe getting out the mountaineering shit. Fuck that. Yeah, we're high-level people. Let's blow spells. <laughs> Rest of you guys can tie each other together. I'm just going to fly. So, I guess the first person that's going to get fragged by their own party is going to be the Barbarian. <laughs> okay. Well, the feather fall takes effect, and you're able to uh, get your footing and climb back up because of your newfound weightlessness. Well done. Good job, guys. Thanks. Good save. All right. Do we get a level? Do we get a level? <laughs> Anyways. I hate you. <laughs> I can see Brian staring into my soul. <laughs> yeah. I can, I can see it. It's it's a, a little bit happening just right now. Uh, anyways. <sighs> okay, so continuing on, the pathway continues to wind upward. Uh, it's switching back and forth as it zigzags up the side of the mountain at one particularly long and narrow section of the ancient road, the twang of bowstrings can be heard somewhere overhead. Um, several kobolds can be seen ducking back into protected crevasses as a deadly swarm of arrows descends. Uh, soon after, a distinct rumbling commences from overhead. A huge shower of boulders has been loosed and is cascading downward and threatening to sweep all before it off the mountain. So I've got to roll a couple of little, you know, silly arrows. Somebody needs to be looking at my amulet, amulet of, are we getting ambushed full time? Seems like a useful thing to be doing. Okay, so all the arrows miss, because, yeah, they do. Do we have, and, like, a round yeah. before the uh, boulders get here? Yes, you have enough time to make an action before the boulders potentially smash you. Alright, well, fly away. You fly out over the crevasse, right? You fly out over the side of the mountain, right? Away from where yes, the boulders away, could potentially away from the strike boulders. you. Yeah, away from the boulders and up towards the uh, goblins. Or kobolds or whatever. Kobolds, goblins, kobolds. So you start whatever. flying upwards towards the kobolds? Yeah. Okay. I will be with you in just a second. We'd like to prevent that from happening again. What else is everyone doing? I will cast Wall of Stone to continue the slope that the boulders are rolling down. Okay. What are you doing, Richard? Uh, 
that protects us, like, is over us. Sure. I look at the nice masterly crafted wall of stone. Okay, Jeremy? I also am looking at the nicely crafted wall of stone. Okay. And that's how we all died. A little bit. Um, so, Andrew, you fly upwards towards where the kobolds attacked you from. And you are buffeted by earth-shatteringly strong winds, throwing you back into the side of the mountain, into the path where you were before. You take 25 points of damage. The wall of stone does not go off. You hear a bit <laughs> of the spell snapping. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Everybody needs to make acrobatics checks. And it's going to be DC 27. I can't. Okay. We're dead. I'm sure I can roll a 20 on this. Or does a 20 not automatically succeed on skill checks? It does. Oh, it does? Sweet. I got this. I do not. I, I didn't have it. I do not. Okay. Everyone takes 46 points of damage. Okay. Um, and now I need you all to make reflex saves, DC 20. Or you get knocked off. I'm good. Falling. Also falling. I'm good. I grab people near me and try and pull I them also back with people. my with, Okay, with my the people that are sword. grabbing your falling friends. DC 15 minus 2, sorry, minus 4 check. Um, so acrobatics checks to grab them. Acrobatics check to grab them, okay. Ah, didn't get it. 17 minus 4 20 got him did you roll more than once Andrew? Huh? no I, I rolled the first time and it went off the side oh okay Andrew got 1 is that 17 after the modifier Jeremy? yeah okay yep you grabbed him good job you saved your friends from an untimely death. Yay! I will cast Heal Moderate Wounds group. Yup, to hell with this. So... Does anybody oh, have any theories as to what happened to our spell there? Kind of a big deal. Nope. Everyone heals. 20 points of damage. Okay. <laughs> Unless the spell fizzles. Nope, it, it goes off. Okay, I'll cast it again. Casting I, Phantom I the, Steed Communal. I bet the Can mountain be, itself has, like, spell resistance going on. Horse. Yep. Everyone heals. 18 health, so Do for these a total of 38 well? health. Uh, they can airwalk and move 100 feet around. That'll work. Uh, is Sorry, let me check out, uh, check out the spell itself. What's it called? Phantom Steed? Yep, Phantom Steed. It'll be communal. Sure. Uh, the spell <laughs> snaps suddenly. Doesn't go off. Okay. Then I advise we run the hell away. Quickly. <laughs> sure. Why? We're already partially up the mountain. They've thrown all their boulders. 
Not like they have older creation spell, because it won't work. They don't. Oh, I forgot I have favorite terrain here. I meant, like, get out, run the hell away up the mountain. We need to figure out what kind of spells Arrows are, are still coming kind of down, by the way. Don't. Yeah, this is why we hurry our way forward. Okie doke. Like, I, I was originally thinking that it had to do with can't cast spells on the mountain, but... Now we've got like Phantom Steed, whatever, and that that's a no go too as well. So every so often along the mountain, a few arrows rain down here and there from high above. Okay. They're they're pretty goddamn inaccurate. What, uh, Steve? Do you have your stats for the laser chicken, or should I pull those up? I don't have the stats for those. Okay. I almost just wrote in laser chicken. Doesn't work. There we go. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay, uh, during one of the bombardments of arrows, your laser chicken, or uh, hypnotris in this case, is hit. Um, it needs to make a save. It's a fortitude save. It's 13. What is the DC? Come here. 13. What's its forts? Plus 4. 13 is 17. Nope, that's no good. Um, so, um, it takes 20 points of damage. It's not doing well. It's pretty messed up. After all oh. that uh, healing you did, Steve, uh, how much did we have left? Uh... You healed 38, so 45 minus 38. Thanks. Seven. Seven. <sighs> okay, I will cast Cure Serious Wounds on Princess. Okay. Here's all of it. Nice. Okie doke. Uh -huh. So, finally, at last, the trail ends, opening out onto a plateau. Uh, it's easily a thousand feet uh, from the floor of the valley where you started this morning, and it's quite possibly even more. Uh, there is a pair of huge oaken doors set into the cliff face, hanging halfway from their hinges. Beyond them, the blackness lies absolute. Uh, perhaps of more immediate concern, however, are two great ballistae looming overhead behind which cobalt clearly can be seen. Uh, so, suddenly, without warning, both fire. Okay, oh, okay, so until further notice, I'm carrying my, my, am I getting attacked, am I getting ambushed amulet in front of my face at all times. Okay. So, I'm just going to go down the list as I see it. So, Andrew's one, Jeremy's two, Richard's three, and Steve is four. Richard, and Richard. Um, oh boy. So, uh, what is your touch AC? Eighteen. 
Okay, they both hit. Oh, this is bad. Uh, how much damage do the Blistai do? Oh, they're fine. They're weak. It's only 3d10. First one does 14. Second one does 18. Super weak. I cast Cure Serious Wounds. The wizard. Well, let's go into initiative order before you start casting spells because, you know, I've got two crews of Ballistae operators up there doing stuff. Good thing I suck. Can we see the ballista? Yes. Pool? Yes. Cool. I also have eleven. Philbrick, as almost always, goes first. I'm not gonna, we're not gonna really map this out because I figure it'll, you know, not be a huge thing. So just two ballistas and then there's just a door? Is that, uh, is that yes. about right? Uh, let me see if I've got a picture of the door. Oh, wait, that won't help you guys. No. Uh, can the ballista shoot you if you are standing in the door arch? It's... No. No. They do I... have a normal range. Dimension door, or I use my dimension step to walk, sh to go straight to the doorway. Okay. Fuck these guys. Fuck these guys. Oh, so we're not at the door. Correct. You are in an opening that is within view of the giant doors leading into the mountain. How far away is that? How far away is the doors? Oh, that would be... Approximately. 100 yards? Okay. That's what the... For my YouTube viewers, that's what the entrance looks like. Done. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Where? Point again, I'm sorry, your finger's black and I keep losing it. Oh, I'm, we're not Jesus. using... We're not using the board. Oh, okay. JK. No worries. So, Havoc, you do go next, though. It's your call. So, each ballista crew is operated by five kobolds. One to shoot it, one to crank the, um, whatever the thing that has the tension in it, the string, I guess, the rope, uh, and then the other three to load how far away are they? 100 yards. Cool. Uh, I'm going to shoot four of them. Okie doke. That's 35 for the first one. 36. Miss. What'd you roll? What'd you roll? A 1. Okay, so... My bow pops, yeah. so I will stop there. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Okie doke. So you take out two. Which ones were you aiming for? Uh, I will take the one aiming and the one turning. Sounds good. Doke. Um, it would be. Uh, let's just say Kahu next. Really? I rolled a nine. Yeah, but you got an eleven, 11, right? Yeah. yeah so did 11. so did Erst. Okay. What's um, your What's your initiative mod, Erst? Not better than his. His is two. Mine is. Mine is one. Okay. <laughs> uh How 
how good is the path towards the door? Like, can good. I just run towards yeah. the door? Sure. It's very open here. It was All meant right. for defense. You're entering a old dwarven stronghold. These ballista were here to take out siege weapons and large, you know, swaths of troops. And I'll just run towards the door. Okie doke. How much ground do you cover? 60? Uh, 120 feet. So, 30 yards. 40 Fair. yards? 40 yards. Yeah, 40 yards. Okay. So, Erst? I will uh, run over to Philbrick to heal him. Philbrick is all the way underneath the entrance. Okay, I will start heading that direction, and I actually have to go. Erica just got home, and I haven't seen her in several days. Okay, so you're not, you're out for the night. Yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta hear about her interview in Chicago and everything. Okie doke. Well, best of luck to her, and uh, we'll see you later. All right, bye guys. Take it yeah. easy. That's gonna Fuck make things. Disconnected that's gonna make family. things real interesting. So the the <laughs> the healer and the uh, the the rogue are both. Uh, I have healing spells. AFK. We'll be okay. fine. Okay. What could possibly go wrong if we're using Steve's parlance? Okay. So he starts heading in. All right. Uh, I finish my turn by. Con by loading, so that's me. So we're back to the top of the round. Billbrick. Billbrick is. You're safe. Oh, I'm safe. Then let's see what I can do to help out my teammates. We've established that we're having issues with magic here, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. They so just, I'm trying just to don't avoid... know what the actual issue is. Trying to avoid casting spells right now at this point. <laughs> right, but all of our healing stuff has gone off so far, right? Yeah, all the healing Correct. stuff has worked so far. Um, fuck, I can't really do much. Oh shit! Without I don't casting think I spells. Let that dimension door go past, but that's okay. I'm gonna let it slide. That's a. That's a. It's not a cast. It's a supernatural ability. Oh, that's fine then. Um, yeah, I'm too afraid to use spells at this point. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, well then, I've done my job. Well done. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I can't cast anything. Um, oh, this is going to be a first. I go into my backpack and pull out my crossbow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. The wizard's like oh, 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 making like semi vomit noises. Yeah, and that's I mean that's basically my turn is I have to go rummage through and grab it. Okay. <sighs> so that would be back to Havoc. Okay kids, how does everyone look? I mean, most people are doing okay as far as hit points go. Yeah. I'm good. Even though I got shot with two fucking blisters, I'm still above half health. Or okay, around half I only health. Have, so I only have four healing spells that I can cast, so let's just let me know. I'm gonna restring my bow. Sorry. Okie doke. Uh, Kahu. I run towards the door. Moving another 40 yards. Yo. Okie doke. Uh, Earth is going to do the same thing. And... So, I'm actually going to shoot my close targets rather than Jeremy, because he hasn't moved yet. Um, so... Chicka chicka cha. One is going to go on... Uh, one's going to go on... Uh, Erst, and the other one's gonna go on 
Erst. So. Okay, one is potentially critical, and the other one misses. Ah, uh, no critical. That would have been so dope. Critical ballista. Erst takes 25 points of damage. Good roll. Okie doke. It's my turn. So, back to the top. Philbrick? Philbrick is going to lean out a little from the doorway and see if he can pick off one of the people that's trying to operate one of the ballistas. Uh, yes, you occasionally catch glimpses of the of the cobalts. They are on tiny turrets, is the ballista, so they are they are concealed by uh, um, you know battlements. Okay, so it's possible to attempt to squeeze a shot. It's just going to suck. Yes. All right. Well, we're going to do it anyways. Okie doke. You're okay. incurring negative six. Okie dokie. Fourteen. Nope. Okay. Okay. Havoc. Bang bang. Two shots? I mean, more than two, but... Four? How many attacks are you taking, Jeremy? Four. Sorry. Okay. I'm counting. So that's a hit. 37, yeah. Yeah. That's the red. Uh, yep. That's 27. And this one is going to be at 19 instead of the others. Okay. Which is 34. 34. Okay. <coughs> all, all those hit, even after the minus 6. So I clear out the one ballista, because mm -hmm. there's only 3 left. Yep. And then I hit the aimer and the turner on the other one. Oh, sorry, mm, just the aimer. Just, yeah. Um, how wide are you allowed to disperse your shots? Isn't there, like, a minimum range? Like, don't they have to be within 10 feet of each other? I don't think so. Let me check. <laughs> While he's checking that, Kahu, are you finishing running into the doorway? Yo. Okie doke. You make it there, so does Erst. <sighs> one of the kobolds gets back on the aiming slot. If that other one's dead, the others continue to reload. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's the skill that you're using called? Do what? What's the skill called that you're using? Uh, it's two uh, feet, and it's not in the feet. Give me just one second. I'm just making sure that in the general combat stuff, because what happens is I get an extra... At a minus two, I get an extra shot at my highest base modifier. Sure. Or two extra, sorry. One second. Dun, 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 I'm having dun, multiple dun, dun, screen dun. issues. Yeah. It's one of the... 
one of the ranged combat feats. Just need to find them. I'm looking at the. Because I'm looking at the tree right now. I'm just. What's the feat called? Working on it one second. Uh, precise shot is what I'm using. I believe one second. It was that and another feed. That precise shot just has to do with shooting opponents shooting that opponents. are engaged so in that's, melee. That's not the one. Then give me. Sorry, one moment here. My computer started running slow. That's fine. Potentially clustered shots. Uh, it says when using a full attack action, you may make multiple ranged attacks against the same opponent. Uh, so no, that's, that's not the down. one. Okay. Bullseye shot, focused shot. Sorry, I'm trying shot, to open shot. my cheat sheet up and it is not opening for me. Yeah, I just don't see the one where you're able to just keep just pegging a bunch pegging. of different targets. shot maybe shoot two arrows simultaneously no that's not the one mm -hmm. so you get your attacks which you get three attacks right with your bow because of his attack modifier. Because just of his attack modifier, and then if he rapid shots, which is taking a full attack action with a ranged weapon, he can fire one additional time this round at the highest bonus, and he just takes a minus two to all his rolls. Right, and, and then that I would have... give him four arrows. Right, that sounds right. There's something else. Does he take penalties for changing targets? No. It's just, it's literally, it just adds an extra attack. So he, his first attack okay. to this one, second attack to this one, third attack to this one, fourth attack to that one. So no. They're all at minus two, but hitting a cobalt is. No, yeah, that's nothing not a thing. for his for his rolls. That's nothing. Yeah. I'm gonna keep looking here because I swear I had, I swear right. there was that. That well, sounds right. Well, you get that wired for something else. you get that wired. We'll let it we'll let it go for now, just so for the sake of moving on. So just right. Yeah. Okay. So that's Jeremy's turn. That was my turn. So we're back to the top of the order. So Philbrick. Reloading. Okie doke. Uh, and then it's back to back to Havoc again. I mean, you know what I'm gonna do. I do. How many targets are left? There are four. Genius. And your bonus is like 30 for your first shot? Uh, first shot. no, not, this one is 22. 22, so 26. Because they're not dragons. Oh, are no. these, what are these, what are their, uh... They don't count as, they don't count, they don't count as dragons, they're... I know, but I have dragons, magical creatures, animals, and humanoids. Uh... They are reptilian. They are reptilian. Then it's plus seven to that. So, uh, 22. 
29 minus 2 is 27, so plus 4, 31 for the first one. Yeah, it hits. Do you have the uh, feats like uh, um, like pinpoint targeting and uh, um, uh, improved precise shot? I have. I'm only asking now because it'll yeah. matter pretty much from now on. now on. Okay, I have precise shot, mini shot, point blank, master, improved uh, precise shots, and... That's really the big one because improved precise shot allows you to ignore, like, cover bonuses and stuff like right. that. Right, I, I just took that one. Sure. Okie doke. So, what are your other rolls? You roll a 17. That'll work. And then that'll work. And one more. And that'll work. Okay. All the kobolds have been removed from on atop the ballista. Cool. Well done. Okay. You may all now stroll into the mountain however you so choose. Um... <sighs> so, as you stroll up to the entrance of the, of the mountain itself, you realize that although the doors hang haphazardly, there's no crack through which uh, anyone larger than a gnome or a kobold could fit through. Um, ch -ch 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 yeah. Perhaps a combined push of strength could dislodge the doors. I check the door for traps. Okay. Is that a perception check or disabled device check? It's a disabled device check. Oh, okay. 21. Okay. Okay, the door does not appear to be trapped. However, as you are looking at it and, you know, giving it little shoves here and there, you do hear a slight <laughs> sound like stone being slipped away from something else that's stone. I look at my amulet. Are we about to be ambushed? Yes, you are. Excellent. Like, I, I knew there was a reason I was holding this in front of my face 24-7. <laughs> All right, well, I step away from the door so that it doesn't, like, fall on me or some shit. Okay. The door doesn't move. Who is standing near the door? Anyone? Because I know Richard stepped out to fire some shots. Yeah. I am stepping back. Okay. I'm totally expecting the the door to like explode or fall down or something. Nope. You guys step back. Nothing bad seems to happen. I look at my amulet. Are we about to be ambushed? <laughs> uh. I mean, from where you are, no. Okay. I slowly start walking towards the door while <laughs> looking at the oh, uh, oh, logic. Yeah, right? Look at this. It, it makes perfect sense. Okay, well... And... There's a couple. Nice. So, as you step forward, once you get really close to the door, pump pump. Uh, ooh, there's a 19. What's your AC? 31. 31? Okay. So I actually did manage to get you with a critical. Nice. So, as you're inching up to the door, because the amulet's not that fucking accurate, you can't work it like that. Sorry. 
Um, all basically, right. all you had to do was roll a perception check, guys, and you would have seen that a bunch of little tiny murder holes and uh, crenellations uh, opened up immediately flanking the doors, and it was just a shit ton of arrow holes that just and just start peppering you the second you get close to the door. So We didn't notice a bunch of murder holes open up near the door. They're small. It's, you know, just enough to, like, shoot things Oh my through. god. Okay. Well, you didn't say I'm looking around. You just said, is the door going to explode? You were looking at the door, obviously. <sighs> Alright, so... <laughs> Stop that. Stop that dice. Okay, so you take a point of damage from one of the arrows, and you take uh, 12 points of damage from the other one. Now, uh, you need to make two fortitude saves. Second one at minus two. What, what'd you 19 get? 19 and 27. Okay, the 27's good, the 19's not. Okay. How much damage do you take from this terrible goddamn poison? Okay. The success means that you took 20 points of damage from the one successful save, and the non-successful save... You take 27 points of damage. And you are going to be poisoned for... Two more rounds. So he's looking pretty green, guys. Anybody got, uh, anybody got a spell for that? Yeah. Now would be the time. You have neutralized poison. I mean, I can do it with the amulet, too. Do you want to? Sure, I do it with the amulet. Okie doke. You neutralize the poison. Well done. Keep track. Keeping track. They're, they're I, once awake, so... I'm going to touch Kahu and activate Blessing of the Salamander. Mm -hmm. What does that do? Uh, you gain fast healing 5, fire resistance 20, plus 2 confidence bonus to combat maneuver defense. Nice. Fancy. And that is for... Uh, mm, yeah, whatever, I'll do it. That's for 4 rounds. Wait, what does it do? Uh, you have fast healing 5, fire resistance feel? 20, feel? and plus 2 competence bonus on combat maneuver defense. Plus the fast healing? I guess this Every is Every round fast you heal healing. 5 points of damage. Oh, okay. So at the end of it's 4 like rounds you'll heal 20. Okay. And there so, goes my 4th so. level spot. Alright, well, I don't have any counterplay here, so, I don't know, I I go up near the wall, I guess, so they can't shoot me more, or... It's both or sides like of the a... door. Okay. How many murder holes? L like, like there is this are... flat wall? Like, I, like, I, I like don't I know said, where it's my the, spots are. It's the main door, and I'll just draw it so that you can sort of see what I'm getting at. So... It's like that. The line would be the main door. And then on these, where the ballista used to be, on top, these uh, turrets, the crenellations have opened up along the this itself. So when you get near the door, you know, they're just looking back and forth across the doorway. 
It's crude, but you get it. There's about 20 in total granulations. Because they go up pretty pretty high. They can aim up and down, but they don't really have any you know left to right ability. Well, we have to get through this door before they kill us. Well, luckily, you're standing, like, in front of the door. You're actually perfectly safe right here. But we have to go we'll into go the into door into eventually. Let's okay. yeah. we'll just do this. <laughs> Let's just push the door open, Kahu. Between oh. the two of us, I'm sure we have enough strength. Yeah, isn't there, like, a spell to help us out here? Like, Spells I'd rather not really take another 80 points of damage. Assuming it works. Do you want to try a spell? Let me see what Let I can do. It. How bad are you looking? I'm at like half. I attempt to cast Obscuring Mist. Okay. Mist fills in the area. How long does that last? Uh, 13 minutes. I think. Let me double check. Yeah, wait, wait. Double check that, yeah. Before I... Obscuring Mist. Congratulations, it goes off. Woohoo! I rolled a 20. Did you see that? Okay. Alright, so that should give you some cover so they won't know when you're going to do it. <laughs> However, they will hear you pushing against the door. And yes. They'll likely just start going off. And so I'll take negatives, better... obviously. But your armor's already Be so high, I'm gonna need to roll the exact same thing. Better to take a running start and just evo it. <laughs> Let's do it. Sure, we do it. Okay. Um what is your strength scores? Twenty. And Thirty-one. Thirty-one? Thirty-one. Congratulations, you needed to total fifty. Well done. You have pushed your way inside. Let me just get a couple of pot shots off. <laughs> Congratulations, they all miss. And I assume, Philbrick, you follow in after the arrows stop flying. Yes. Okay, you wait for the telltale sounds of <laughs> to stop. You almost trip over a couple, but you don't make very much noise. Okay, at this point in time, I must remind you that you must have some way of seeing in utter darkness. How utter is utter? Complete. Torches work for small, you know, radius of light around yourselves, but uh, as far as, like, long distance seeing goes, you're going to want to have some sort of spell active or be able to see in darkness, like dark vision.
Does everyone have dark vision here? Here. I no, do. No. I guess I break I... out the torches. Okay. <laughs> I was about to say, I do. <laughs> Alright, so you break out the torches? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I have torches and tender twigs. You don't actually have dark vision, do you, Jeremy? I thought I. Oh, no, I have low light. Sorry. Yeah, low light's yeah. different. Yeah. Kobolds have dark vision. Uh, gnomes have dark vision. I think dwarves do also. They might only have low light vision, but the ground dwelling races do. Elves have low light vision. Um, tch -tch -tch -tch. So the darkness in this low clinging passageway seems almost palpable as there's an overwhelming feeling of claustrophobic tension. It almost seems as if the ceiling were lowering itself to crush you uh, and all those who have intruded before. So. Is the ceiling actually looking like it's crushing us right now? Do you want to make a perception check? Yes, I do. That would be a 29. Indeed, the ceiling is in fact lowering, but it's doing so silently. Completely. I relay this message to the other people around me. Your voice does not carry. I point up to the ceiling. <laughs> so, and right making, next to you, Philbrick starts jumping up and down and pointing and wildly making, upward. I'm doing a charades where I point at the ceiling <laughs> and then put my hand in a flat plane and then see it slowly lowering. How <laughs> far does the ceiling... Like, is it just this room or something? Yep. Or is this, like... Is this, like, some kind of gate that we can't get past here? What's Correct. Going here? In front of you is a steel gate that does not, uh... Uh, it is... There is a thick steel portcullis, um... And it is currently sealed shut, barring you from the remainder of the mountain. So, say that I have a uh, arrow that I can light on fire. How much light comes off of it? Because uh, it doesn't really say. Same as same as a torch. Cool. I'm gonna light one of my arrows and fire it into the next area to see what's over there. So this area? Yeah. Okay. A torch gives off what a five foot radius. I'm gonna try to hit like a wall, I think. Just for clarification, did a steel wall appear behind us as well? No. Oh, okay. Just checking. <laughs> I mean, I'm a dick, but damn. Well, I my my amulet of of are you getting ambushed has has been defective lately, so I figured. All I'd you just need to do is to say I'm that. checking the amulet. Well. And I know that you said that you were doing that while you were inching forward, but I'm gonna fucking get your ass if you're trying to if you're trying to game the system. Right, but so like for example, we're coming around the mountain, and then suddenly here's two ballistas that get a surprise shot on us. Right. Like, how on earth do I ask about that? Like, I like other than I hold the amulet in front of me the entire time I'm going up the mountain. Like. This is there's right like I've got no counterplay with this unless unless without relying on you to help me. <sighs> yeah, I know, but it it just seems counterintuitive for me to like give you like, hey, maybe you should check your amulet here. It doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, so so the amulet doesn't do that power. So. I, I, I put it away. Um, <laughs> hold on. Maybe we should just do a, like a percent roll that you notice or something. I I don't know. We'll figure something out. Um. I guess I started searching the uh, the 
the walls or something for a way to get the portcullis open. Okay, perception check. Oh, what's my number these days? 27. Okay, while searching around the room, you uh, realize that the mechanics to a portcullis like this, um, just due to the sheer size and intensity of it, uh, is likely somewhere beyond the room that you're in now. You're standing in a room that was designed to kill invaders. You have any secret doors? Looking past 60 feet, is there anything that I can make out along any of the walls that would be a lever of some type? So I guess, Jeremy, that you hit this corner since you said that you weren't firing. You can see that part of the room? Yeah, I'm going to fire another one in the other corner. Okay. Richard, what were, you, what were you saying? Sorry. Uh, I'm looking out towards the portcullis to see if there is any levers or things that, you know, buttons, shit that'll make this thing go, because I don't want to get crushed by rocks or a ceiling. Okay. Um, I do have dark vision up to 60 feet, so... Make your perception check. Sixteen. Okay. Well, because you have dark vision, I guess I'll let it. I won't give you any negatives. There is a... Dun, 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 dun. Let me just draw it here. There is a lever tucked neatly away into the corner right here on this side that seems to have been flipped recently. Beyond that, you don't have much to go on. It's the blue uh, mark okay. I made. So is it like a pull lever? Is that? Yeah, it's it's, it's like uh, um, what's it? like uh, Legend of Zelda style lever. It's, you know, it's got the okay. handle that you crank okay. over. All right. Okay, I motion to people that there's a lever over there by pointing to the corner and then doing the hand pulling motion of a lever. Okay. The uh, <clears throat> ceiling is getting dangerously low at this point. Is it shootable? Like, can I flip it with an arrow if I shoot at it? Potentially. It is leaning towards you, so... Cool. I'm gonna try that. Okay. What kind of negatives are you giving me? Well, let's go with... Well, let's see... Through a portcullis, partially dark. Uh, I mean, you have precise shot, though, right? That's the yeah. He ignores all cover and concealment. Yeah. So. Yup, and a, I'm also probably. I would guess it's a time target ability. since you're trying to hit the handle, so that confers what a negative four. Or is that small? Small confers negative four. Negative four. Small is negative four. Okay, so tiny is negative eight. That sounds right. Yeah. Let's go with that. Jeremy, did you roll? Not yet, I'm sorry. One second. No worries. Okay, I am activating my bracers of awesome archery to give me a plus 20, so I have a 34 to head. Need a what? I'm sorry? I 
I activated my bracers of awesome archery oh. and have a 34 to hit. Okay. You hit it. So Good 34, 34 plus 8. 42. Get the shit out of that. <laughs> you hit the hell out of that. I noped it is what I did. Okie doke. Uh, you hit the lever. The lever flips violently back the other way and the ceiling begins to raise. And the ceiling comes down quicker. <laughs> but the portcullis doesn't move? Correct. The portcullis does not move, but the ceiling does begin going up. This means that someone was standing right there when you guys came through the door. Sons of bitches. I search for secret doors. 25. You find no secret doors or floors. You know what the next question was already? I'm going to continue to look through the grate, trying to see if there's a way to open the portcullis from the other side. Are we still... Uh... From your current... or deafened or whatever? Yes. There is still a aura of silence in the room. How healthy do you look, Richard? About half health. I'm still above half health, yeah. Alright. Alright. Do you want me to heal you? Mm, I'll be good. You should dimension door. Yes. Yes. I can dimension door. From your current vantage point, dimension. you'd see no levers or buttons or toggles of any kind that look like they could uh, open the portcullis. Okay. How, how big is this portcullis? Like, should I just give it a shot with 31 strength? You can certainly try. I'll help. Fucking raise the portcullis with my 31 strength. Whoa. Okay, so it's an athlete. Or do we lift, I should say? Well, let's find out. That's a 15. Dead. Lifting. Capacity. Lifting capacity. I guess that's under carrying capacity? Lifting and dragging. Your strength is a 31, you said? Uh-huh. And mine's a 20. Okay, so Jeremy can... Uh, can lift 400 pounds. It seems like not much. 20... the chart only goes up to 29. Uh, then after well... That it says plus 10. Times my... my four. sheet tells me that, uh... My, so it's times 4. Oh, here it is. Lift above head, 1838. Lift off ground, 3676. And drag and push, 9190. Holy God! <laughs> so 1800 pounds is how much you can lift over your head 18, 1838 pounds that's ridiculous and I'm like 400 it's ridiculous <laughs> yeah it goes up pretty significantly quickly from 
20, like the next one's 460, 526, 7, 8, 920, 1040, 1200, 1400. It goes up quick after 20. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 1800 plus 400. 400. 2200 pounds? Eh, sure. Fuck it. We'll say As it that turns out, we left. You lift we the We do, gift. indeed. Well done. You make... You do the Arnold Schwarzenegger scene from Conan, and you lift the portcullis. I'm alright with this. Could I have done it by myself? I might need to know for the future. No. <sighs> okay, so okay. this just in from Chad. Yep. Dun, dun, dun. The thief. He says, "So sorry. The only time I uh, this is the only time I can make it this month. Uh, uh, you may need to find another rogue. It's looking like I won't have Tuesdays off for the foreseeable future, and I'll be working either midnights or swings." Oh dear. Yep. I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? What could Pop. possibly go wrong? I have a disabled device of 18. I'm Does sure that we'll help? Be fine. <laughs> Yeah, we'll I have fine. a knowledge dungeoneering of eight. Does that help? I mean, we got all this, of guys. those things help. Attempt to speak words. Do words come out of my mouth? Yes. This side of the portcullis, okay. everything is very audible. I feel like a failure. That was a 12. Yeah, you're like, there's probably a control room somewhere nearby that uh, raises and lowers the portcullis. This is definitely, definitely a dungeon, guys. <laughs> Good job. So there's another portcullis in front of us? Correct. Is there anything of note in this room? Um, nope, besides that lever. I search for secret doors or levers that we haven't yet found. That's a 39. Sorry, nope. Alright, so... We can lay it's time to lift. Nah, I mean, I can just, like zap us through this small one. That's fine. As long as we as long as we all line up in front, it just boop. I don't want to save that. spells. Not a spell. Not a spell? Okay fine. Supernatural ability. Holy okay. balls. As far as that crushing block goes, you guys would have needed a strength a combined strength of a hundred and twenty. In order to avoid being crushed, avoid by, being it. crushed by it. That's uh, not reasonable. <laughs> Why is I that written have... down? I don't know. I feel like that's just like they picked a really high number that no group could possibly get to. And you would like, think yeah, that, but there's a second stat for like to oh lift God. to lift the block upward, meaning what? to raise it, requires a strength, a combined strength of 144. It's not just some round fucking number. <laughs> That's so dumb. Alright, um, somebody did math. If everyone's okay with it, I'm go we're going to line up next to the thing, and I'm just going to zap us over to the other side. Okay. What do you mean by zap? Uh, supernatural ability dimension step. Whoop. How many people can you take with you? As many as I can have feet to spare. And it's a five foot increment per number of people. We have six total people, so... 30 feet. I have 90 feet left per the day, so... You should not should be count good. Farlin. We're gonna say oh, that I... he's just gonna chill by the, okay. you know, by the entrance. <laughs> he's gonna chill in the block room. There's nothing that can go wrong there. Nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> um, well, if you've only got so much of this per day, like... It, it's hold fine. On to it? Oh, okay. Uh, it's, right. it's fine. Um, just because you're lifting, um, if you lift and then get shot with a shit ton of arrows... And drop that shit on me, I'm gonna be pissed. I guess that's true. Fine. Uh, I'm also going to. 
before I do that, I'm going to look out with dark vision and see if there's anyone aiming a goddamn crossbow at me. Not that you can see. Alrighty, that's good enough for me. Everyone ready to go across the gate? Ready. Are you taking princess right, yeah. with you? Oh, we're Obviously. taking princess. We're taking princess. She's a she's my arrow target. She's gonna eat all the arrows for me. Uh, and then I use 25 feet of my dimension step to bring us just across the threshold. Okie doke. Pawonk. 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 Damn it. Okay. Here we are, finally in the mountain proper. Well done. And it is 9.32. Yeah, we could probably keep going. All right. So, the entranceway emerges into a huge courtyard. This place looks like, or this looks like a place where many pitched battles have taken place, judging by the scars and pits in the granite walls and the scorch marks burned into the floors. There's no apparent activity here now, however. Uh, along the walls, there are metal bars. Uh, inset into the stone, covering the entrances of the rooms, or perhaps tunnels. They look almost like cages of some huge beasts. Uh, however, there is none of the musty animal smell one is so often associates with animals lingering in the air. Indeed, there's little here, uh, indeed little here attests to the presence of any sort of beast. Uh, there is a balcony set 20 feet above the ground, accessible by two separate wooden ramps uh, to the north and west. Uh, two great chains hang from, or hang at uh, the edge of either, apparently to lift them into the air at the first signs of danger. They are currently resting on the ground. Two massive steel columns support the ceiling above, however, there are tiny openings throughout all of them, leading you to wonder their uh, architectural stability and necessity. Sounds like we're gonna get shot. Do we have any way of seeing uh, if those, if somebody's gonna raise those gates and unleash hell spawn on us? Your amulet is saying that there's a trap nearby. Okay. Um, can we tell if there's like somebody trying to raise these gates right now? Not that you can tell. It's not the gates that raise or lower that I was talking about. It's the ramps. The ramps raise and lower? Yeah. Are they currently raised? Like I said, they are currently resting on the ground. And this is a uh, like a lowered in area correct that's what i got from this yes you are in essentially a big ass pit yep stuff's about to come out of those fucking columns guys this is how, not going to be good how high is the pit i, I did say that also the I, balcony I, is I, set I 20 feet above okay um right so I have some rope. I'm gonna kind of bust the rope out and fly on up here. Doop de doo. Anybody who wants to climb the rope, uh, you feel free. Or so not. You know, you, as you like. One more time, Andrew. You you throw a rope up here and start climbing up. I use my sword. Oh, you use the sword. My sword lets me fly. Right. Yes. I kind of, I, I always imagine that I'm just kind of, the, the sword obviously flies and I'm just hanging on to it. Okay. What kind of rope you got there, buddy? Um, rope rope? I guess I roped down silk that. rope because it doesn't weigh as much as regular rope. Regular rope. Okay, just making sure. Because the silk, the silk, the spider silk has a higher test, so we can have more people on it. I just didn't want it, like half of us to be on it and go snap. Sure. Okay. okay. I will also climb the rope. Okay. As you guys start uh, climbing the rope and getting up uh, and getting up the way, uh, arrows and blow darts 
begin raining out of the two central columns. All right. <laughs> also, the uh, the two ramps both immediately raise with a you know heavy boom as they come slamming upwards into the ceiling. So they're also raised. Um, we'll do your climb check in a second. So now uh, the ramps are not passable, I guess, because they're like straight up and down or something? Or... They, they raise straight up, so they're not resting on the ground like they are. So basically oh, okay. imagine them hovering, you know, 20 feet in the air. Okay. Okay. Um, so there are 20 archers. Dun, 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 dun. Oof. There are ten archers in each column, three rounds. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. So, dun 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 dun. Um, I'll just do five on each of you. So, Andrew, good chow. Uh, those are gonna miss. Uh, Philbrick, what's your AC? 24. Okay. That's a good And then Erst. That's also gonna miss. And then Jeremy. Havoc. There's one. Just a regular hit. Okay. It's gonna do... I need you to make a fortitude save. Who? You. What did you... So a hit hit? Yeah, you got a normal hit. So you took four points of damage. I have magic resist on arrows, so I don't take anything. Okay, you don't take any damage from the arrow. Right. But it did pierce you. So I need you to make a fortitude save. That's not good. I'm dead. Not necessarily. You take 34 points of damage. I'm fine. See? Totally fine. Okay, that's my first round. <laughs> um, I need to grab some stuff. One moment. 3D figures. Where is it? Come on. Don't screw me. Whoa, Jesus. There it is. Okay. <laughs> right? Yep. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. 
Um, so spiders start scrambling down from above, from the darkness above, rather. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to have to roll some initiative here. So my initiative is... 14, 15... rolled a 17. Woo! It's better than anything he's ever rolled. Best roll he's ever yeah. had. Okay, so everyone besides Kahu goes before me. Oh, I had high hopes for that five. I'm <laughs> sure it would be good. Uh, so, so um, we're going to start with Philbrick. Where did we get peppered with arrows from? From, uh, here and here. And there. Okay. Um, uh, knock that bitch down? <laughs> with what? <laughs> um, let's see what are we can do here. <laughs> Spiders. Are these five foot squares or? They are. What are our range here? Five foot squares. Is that for the big squares or the four square? The four for squares the are the squares. Single squares. The big squares are five feet, okay. Like that's five, that's ten, that's fifteen. Okay. Yeah. The four squares are five feet. Alright, well we'll try to deal with this accordingly. Uh, where's that ruler when you need it? It's the line tool. Ah, thank you. F five. Everybody should just uh, get a magic sword that can fly like me. Yeah, for sure. That would solve your problems. What are we measuring? I got 28 corner to corner. 28 corner to corner. So that's 28 squares. Uh, I can't do it. But we can try this. I'm going to attempt to put a 26 by 26 wall of force in between that, like, cutting them off from us. Well, it's actually so. only 14 squares because one square is two in this in this scale. Okay. So it's 14 okay. squares. Yeah, I'm going to attempt to just put a wall in front of them so that they can't shoot at us where we're standing. However, that's still casting a spell, so let's see if that works. It is casting a spell... Wall of force, you said? Yes. Wall of force. It's gonna work. You said it's going to work? Yep. Ah! Okay, good round. Alright, so then, Havoc, you are, you used to be climbing the rope. Do you let go or do you keep climbing up? JK, definitely not climbing the rope now. Okay. Uh, I would like to cast Repel Vermin. Okay. And I put the link for it in the notebook that says rules. How big are these spiders also is the other question. Spiders are large. Okay. They're probably going to get through it. But you know, they have to make a will save, so it's fine. 
Old bag vermin. Hey vermin. Hey vermin. Cannot penetrate the barrier. Less than one third. You're level 13. They have. Um, where it says uh, 10 foot radius centered on you. So. I mean, within... I'm technically I'm technically over here by Kahu. Okay. Because I was I was on the rope. Sure. sure. Oops. Whoops, whoops. So princess is safe. So is Kahu. And I say, get over here, bitches. Okie doke. So, good turn. And then it would be Erst. He'll move over to you. And then, uh, yeah, me. So, they attempt to close the distance, but they cannot get within 10 feet of you. So, this one closes and it's going to attack Philbrick. This one closes. This one closes. Useful as fuck. This one is going to go around, close that one, and then, so, let's see, attack on Philbrick. 14, 15, he misses. Okie doke. Sorry, when I said large spiders, that's what they're called. Their size is still small, but as far as mm. spiders go, they're quite large. Oh, uh, okay, so they're they're just, they're baker spiders, but they're, they're still... Okay. They're like, uh, you know, dinner plate sized spiders. Okay. Actually, no, not... since they're small size, that would make them like cobalt sized spiders. Okay, good. Yeah. I mean, large, okay. but still. They're big spiders, but they are not large creatures. Yeah, they're small. Okay. There we go. Yeah, they're big, they're just not large. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okie doke, that's my turn. Alright. Um... You see the wall sort of like uh, spray, just prismatic color, it's just... Dum -dum 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 -dum. You get this weird dull hollow bongo bat sound as arrows hit it. Well, that worked out. Did you yep. ever play with a bongo bat? No. Man, I did have bongos were, as a child, though. Those things were great. Like, not play ones, like real bongos. I don't know right, why. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will be taking a five-foot step the hell away from this thing. Uh, I believe I have a turn. Oh, you that's do. right. Shit. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm... Yep. I'll forgive you this time. I'm making it so we don't get peppered with arrows. <laughs> I'm trying yeah. hard, man. <laughs> I, I, I step forward and I Hulk smash. That's what I do. Okay. Do you have a torch, uh, Andrew? I do have a torch. Okay. Using one handed weapon. I am. So you're not it's it, you're not doing a sword and board thing, right? I'm doing a sword and torch thing. Yeah. Does this affect your AC in any way? Um no, the plus five shield wasn't really doing anything for me, so I ditched it. Um, yes, it affects my AC in some way. Okay. Just making sure, trying to keep track of where everybody's AC is. Yeah. Um, Alright, make your attack. Right, I was you checking rolled, my AC. You rolled an 18. I didn't roll. Oh. I set it down because I was like, oh wait, I have to check my AC. Uh, dip, dip. 21 now. So we have a 40, which we'll confirm in a second, and a for a 29, and an 11, or a 26. <laughs> All three hit. All right, I'll confirm my critical now. Confirmed. That hits. And now I... There was a spider up there, guys. I swear to God. <laughs> yeah, right? You're just grabbing different colors now? 
just to do it. Well, I need 3d8, <laughs> obviously. The red will be the critical. Okay. Oh, that didn't go anywhere. It's okay, they still rolled. 16 plus 5 for 21. It's uh, really 21. Oh, well, I'm not done. It's super 21. Dead. <laughs> I'm not done yet. <laughs> like, there once was a spider, maybe. 52. If spiders could be intimidated, the rest would be. I, I did 73 damage. Well done. Slayer of spiders. Got. got. Indeed. That, that spider's dead. Yep. Spider's dead. Okie doke. So now it's Philbrick's turn. Philbrick is going to do the same thing he was trying to do for Five foot step the hell away from this damn spider. Uh huh. And then proceed to th throw an acid dart into its face. Twenty-five touch. Touch, yeah. It is hit. It's just hit. Doesn't even need touch AC. Myself. Uh, ten. Ten damage. It's dead. <laughs> I like how it's like seventy-three dead. Ten. Also dead. <laughs> yep. So far, I'm really pleased with how far the with how the mountain's done. As far as like, it psychs you guys out like way early and just piles on the damage, and then like anything bad happens, you're just like fuck, red alert, and like the spells start firing, and just I'm just like Hoo -hoo 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 -hoo, because oh my god, it's so bad. You don't want to run out of spells. Well, we also don't want to get hit by those arrows. Like, yeah, they only have like half a hit point apiece, but they do a million damage. It's true. Because they cheat. It's true. Alrighty. So, um, Havoc? So, I just posted a new spell, speaking of not using all of them in the thing and I want to know if I cast it in a 40 foot square around one of these pylons with all the assholes in it will it affect the assholes inside also uh, possibly let's find out DF is DF is only applicable if he has uh, a holy symbol, divine focus. I don't think he needs one because he's a druid. Yeah, uh, ranger. Ranger. Yeah. Ranger. yeah, he doesn't need one. It, it's for the druid. Watch your mouth. That spell. <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah. Okie doke. My, so... my wife went to the store and bought ice cream cookies. Oh, oh man. damn it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to tell. I'm gonna have to tell Jenny. She's gonna be upset because she doesn't have any ice cream cookies. She had one earlier, and now she wants more. The moral of the story is Jenny eats. I need some ice cream cookies. Right? I Everyone also does. need some ice cream I think cookies. I'm going to the store after this. 
All right. So you cast Stone Call, correct? Yeah. Okie doke. Uh, the spell <laughs> snaps and does not take place. Okay. What was that call? What was that uh, spell called? Stone Call. Okay. It still counts as being spent, however. Anytime a spell yep. snaps. Okay. Do -do -do. Andrew, you're not a wizard, so you cracking this code is not kosher. I know what okay, you're doing. Fine. I know what you're doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Let the let the spellcasters solve the mystery. Alright, so that was Havoc. Then Erst is Yeah, gonna sit tight. I solve it, I'll keep my mouth shut. You solved it? If I do. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh then after Erst is me. Spiders move forward. Okay. So, Kahu. Um, I guess I fly down, but stay within the ten foot circle. Okay. Oops. You're bad at this. Why is he jumping? What the hell? <laughs> I set him down and then he jumps. He's, he's a jumpy kind of guy. I think so. Alright. Uh, you do anything else? Um... Nope. Okay. Top of the round. Philbrick. Jenny, Richard has ice cream sandwiches. And he's not bringing them over here because... Because he lives two hours away? <laughs> Do I look like that excuse is good enough? <laughs> you owe us ice cream sandwiches now, Richard. Next time I come to game, I'll make sure to bring you some. Um... Richard, you haven't been over to our place yet, have you? I have not. Oh, okay. So, no, you don't know him. Well, I leave the house every once in a while. Would I have met him anywhere else? Uh, sometimes he comes to game. game. He's been to game. Uh, he may have been there while you were there. Uh, also, I think, Richard, you were there at Steve's apartment over in Albion. When... Nope. Nope? Okay. Never mind. Would I'm going to. Well. You would remember my wife. I'm going to throw more acid darts this time at Spider. Uh, we're almost done. We're about to go get ice cream sandwiches. Just uh, <laughs> you and me. I attempt to confirm <laughs> the crit the I, acid dart. He okay. is super dead. I like that the okay. spider jumps when you roll the dice. That's fun. Uh, that is more than 10 damage, like I did before, so <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> That's too much fun. Yeah. Alright, so then we're back to Havoc. I'm gonna shoot arrows and everything now, I guess. How many yeah. spiders are near us? Uh, one, two, three. However, you have no ability to see them. Uh... I mean, you can take some blind shots. Jeremy, aren't you a half orc? Yeah. You have dark vision, man. I thought so, Lion Brian. 
No, Can't I never said you don't. I said, do you? You're a orc. <laughs> I said I thought I did, and you said I thought you only had low light, and I just and went with it. And then you're like, it. yeah, okay, yeah. low light. Yeah, 60 so foot I do see them. Cool, so I do see all these motherfuckers. Yep. Stupid orcs. User joined your channel. Hello. Steve. Hello. Oh. Welcome back. They're just User blowing spells left and right. Channel. Bye. <laughs> All three hit. Okay. Kaba, kaba. And kaba. So dead. User okay. Joined your channel. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Hi. Yeah. No worries. <laughs> just, hello. Goodbye. Oh, we uh, missed yeah. you. You guys dead yet? Uh, no, I they have been blowing spells like you wouldn't believe. I'm not. They've Even just, the ranger. They've been shitting out spells. And I've just been over here, you know, rubbing my hands together. Goo, goo. Everyone's right. huddled around me because I have repel vermin. How many rounds does this stupid wall work for? Thirteen. All of them. Thirteen. Ten to go. We gotta figure out a plan, guys. I think our plan is just to get the hell out of the room. How you doing that? Uh, well, we're gonna... Well, I don't know anything about these gates that I can't see, but maybe there's, like, an exit <laughs> up top along the balcony somewhere? I don't know. I mean, this is obviously a murder pit, so getting out of the murder pit seems like yes. a good idea. Agreed. Uh, getting out so of the murder no pit is important. So there's no uh, bad guys left, so I'm uh, going to fly back up here and hold the rope for people to uh, get up here. Okay. Um, everyone then takes a round to get up the rope, so we're down to nine rounds on the wall. And remember, the wall's only covering one direction. So we're all up on the wall now? Yep. So... Okay. Except for the cockatrice. How far away are these things from us? The... the... the big pylons? Uh... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 feet. Okay. And can we see... Can I see the people, like, can I see into the holes they're shooting from? Not clearly, no. I mean, you can see that they're definitely shooting out of them. So you I'm can just see, trying like, to see the if tips I can of their start, weapons. I guess, I'm like, just trying to see if I can start, it. like, putting down some return fire. Sure. Once the wall's down. Once the wall's down. Right. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this way. Okay. But it's not my turn yet, I guess. Well, I mean, we can dispense with the initiative order until somebody, you know, does something. Alright, well, I'm going to definitely move this way. And once I can get around the wall, start shooting. Okay, there's about okay. good. There's about good. So, that'll be eight rounds by the time he gets over there. Do you want to start taking some shots? Yes, please. Okay. I'll head over here. They don't have any, at least because of your improved precise shot, yep. they don't have any concealment or anything, any advantages like that. So you're pretty much shooting at unarmed or undefended kobolds, which is insane to me. Ridiculous. That is a 20. Still three, is. 24. Hit. Hit. And Miss. So that's. Twice I hit three. That your bow, right. That's twice that your bow's broken. I mean, my. Well, I've aced twice now. Right. Yeah. But you said you were just going to have my string snap or Right, that one time. Right. I'm going to have to start oh. coming up with other things that happen, too. I mean, it's cool. I have other weapons. That's right, fine. I understand right. that. I'm just... 
think every time you're rolling a one, your your bowstring breaking is not really fair to everybody else that like hammers themselves. I'll take damage if you want me to. No, I know. No, I know. That's totally fine. Okay. My turn is officially over. Well, you know, instead of like, you know, making him do damage to himself on ones, you could have us like drop our weapons instead. You know, be nicer instead of meaner. Actually, come to think of it, dropping weapons would probably be situationally more horrible than yeah than taking damage. But whatever. Do we leave Princess? Uh, for the moment. I'm okay. assuming Princess is kind of going over this way, following us. Yes. So do you want my my bowstring to pop, or do you want me to take damage? Your bowstring pops this time. I'm, okay. I'm gonna develop a like a random table of what, of what right. happens. Right. I mean, right having times. having been an arch an archery for like eight years, being popped by a bowstring hurts like a motherfucker. Yeah. Like bludgeoning, like five to ten bludgeoning damage easily. Sure. Okay, so are you gonna fire some more? Because they fired back, they missed a yeah. lot. Yeah, sure. I guess if they're gonna start firing back, I'm gonna run over this way and round. So it's like, so it would be two rounds for Jeremy to before he fires back. So I got another round of shots in between. So there's five. There's one. There's two. How they wide is the? Uh, and then I got walkway. two more. So we have to... The walkway's, you know, five feet on the top. All, All right, four hit. Oh. Yeah, Hold whatever. on. And then... Oh, I did get a critical. Nice. Not really. No, I did. No, I'm saying it's not nice. Oh, okay. Uh, since bows only crit on a 20, I think they're times three, right? Uh, I think they're times two. Not necessarily. Let me let me check. It depends on the bow, actually. Okay. Oh no, they are definitely times three. Are they long bows or are short bows or cross bows or what? Long bows do times three. Yeah, they're long bows. Oh, I guess strong short bows do too. Well, whatever. <laughs> All right. So the damage on these isn't coming out from their base damage. Right. So. 15 damage from the bow, so you take 5 because of the spell that's on you. And do I need to make a fortitude? Yes, you do. Fortitude Come on, save not a for three. a million damage or a million negative two. more damage. What are we fortitude checking for? Poison? Poison. Yes, it's poison. Nice. Are any of us poisoned? Uh, Jeremy just saved, so Not at the moment. you take a base That's 20. That's a 20. Yep. You take a base 20. Okay. Okie doke. Uh, you fire four more, four more get popped. Well done. Uh, you hear sort of a and like just a skittering sound from inside this uh, uh, pillar over here. And then the arrows stop coming out. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so... Okay. What are we, uh, what are we gonna do about these doors, and which way are we going? Um, what time are we playing till this we're, we're about to quit, I just wanna, I just wanna okay. get past this room. Well, I don't know, we might end up having to come back. Um... The guys in the other, like, what about the guys in the other pillar? Do we need to murderize them with the guys Legolas? in the other pillar? Yeah. Well, um, you could try, or you could you could go check it out to see if they're still there or not. You know for sure that this 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 pillar closest to you is empty. Yeah. Like, we won't actually know until the wall of force is down, I guess. So. Right. 
I guess we'll just head on over here and said there was a uh, a lever or some shit over here for the ramps, yeah. Yeah, for the ramps. Yeah, mm -hmm. hit that. Okay, the ramps come back down, so Princess can come up the ramp now. Excellent. Um, Models. Is there anything for this gate, door, portcullis thing? Not that or you can see. Time to lift. Time to find out if we lift again. Duh. So, directions and choosing is pretty important. It's easy to get turned around, it's easy to get lost in here. I'm not going to make a uh, battle map for every single room of, of the mountain because that would be a insane task, truly. So, uh, yeah. I mean, at this point in time, you don't have a great sense of direction of where you should be going, but just know that each choice that you make as far as direction goes is important. Okay, well, does anybody have anything that, that, uh, that... Basically, you're choosing north or west at this point. Right, does anybody have any ideas that could give us better than chance at the moment? I am a dwarf. I have improved stone cunning. It lets me notice uh, unique things with the stone and all that kind of stuff. Okay. We want to go up. Is one of these doors like two inches higher than the other? Maybe that's the difference. Knowledge engineering? <laughs> uh, people with knowledge engineering can make a roll if they so choose. Uh, if you want Might to use well. your stone cunning, uh, you can certainly look at that. Well, I'm, going dungeon. To, I'm going to try to perceive words, and maybe it's labeled this was a fortress at one time. Dragon this way. <laughs> Better than nothing, man. <laughs> Gotta try something. So, what are our totals? I aced. Me too. Sweet. What's a dungeon? Yeah. Where are we? 28 perception looking for words? Or 29? 29. Ugh. And Steve? Does your stone cunning add to anything or is it just like a base? Dwarves know this shit. Um, not sure. Let me look it up. Uh, it gives me a plus one, or plus two naturally to notice unusual stonework such as traps and hidden doors located in stone walls and floors. Improved stone cunning gives me a plus four on it instead. So that's either to a, what, a, like a perception check or like dungeoneering in this case? Uh, it says perception. It doesn't say anything about dungeoneering. If you want to give it to dungeoneering, I would too. in this case. Whatever's higher, your call. Uh, perception is higher, I believe. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, perception, and that would be a twenty-five. Okay. Um. Uh, the gate that you are next to, Philbrick, you are able to decipher that you believe that it was the entrance to an area known as the Ambassador's Halls. Okay. And, uh, the one going north, uh, Erst, you are able to decipher that it goes to a area known as the Grand Stairway. Huh. Okay, so we're in the ambassador's hallway. No, you're in oh. the main entrance. The door going left goes towards the ambassador's halls. The door going north goes towards the grand stairs. Grand stairs and ambassador's hallway. My poor 
four maps. They're so brittle. Well, if we want to go up, it's Grand Staircase, right? Like, it could go down, I guess, but... Could so. go down. This could be, like, Diablo. Fuck that. <laughs> but it says Grand Staircase, so let's just... That's, that's up? Yep, Everyone wanna... That. I mean, it seems reasonable. North it is. Sure. Okay. Sure. We'll, we will pick up next time. Okay. All right. Awesome. Good game, guys. Hope that you had a good time. Good game. Letters. Talk to you later. We should figure out when we want to actually start a uh, third season of Blood Bowl, guys. Yeah, for sure. Pick a time, pick a place. But peace and progress to the YouTube viewers. Right.